Hello, hello, welcome to my channel yet again. Today we'll be talking about the importance of having a community around you as an entrepreneur. So um, yes, I'm a life coach and entrepreneur and we're gonna go ahead and get into these three examples to kind of bless you guys today, you know, um, on my channel. So let's go ahead and get into it. So number one, as an entrepreneur, you must have a community of like-minded people and the reason why I highly recommend that is to uh, challenge, it challenges you to grow and it also is, it encourages you during challenging time. And so um, the reason why I, I'm doing this is just to really explain the importance of having a community. Um, you know, uh, when we, uh, as we were doing, you know, selling cinnamon rolls and everything like that, we didn't really have a community that we could connect to, uh, you know, entrepreneurs that would really motivate us. Yes, we could get connected to the local chamber of commerce, but I don't know why we didn't necessarily do that. You know what I'm saying? Up in up here in our community. But I just wanted, I guess, some young, vibrant entre entrepreneurs some people that I can be around to stay motivated in Denton County. But um, when I went to the vault conference back in uh, 2019 in March, that's that's what I got out of it. That was one of the main things. There was the energy there, the people there was just amazing, you know what I'm saying, that I continue to connect with there. But it was interesting because we, we had a great connection when we were there uh, and what, what we were learning at the conference and everything, but then when you, you went away and you went home, yes, you Facebook friend people, but there wasn't a group you know that was specifically connected together um, to keep that synergy and that energy going of motivating one another to, uh, to keep going in uh, so many different ways. And so uh, the second example is that uh, small groups are, are, we as people, we are communal people. That's just how we're made. We're, 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 we're built um, to be community oriented, community driven, whether it be, and, and, and you find people in this space in so many different settings. And so this is not just in business. It's all over, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, it could be in places like, let's say, um, you know, you got the when you're in high school, you got the chess club, you got uh, you got different, you know, the key club, you got different clubs that have different interests, and so those would be considered groups. And so, one of the um, groups uh, when I got married uh, about ten years ago, about a year later, I got connected with a small group uh, for married couples, young married couples, and thus in this group every month, because we'd get together once a month, play games and talk about marital problems or marital issues or marital topics, you know, period. And coming to this group, it was like a breath of fresh air because uh, I, I did not see a good view of of, of what marriage was like growing up, you know what I'm saying? No shade to my, my parents and everything. They did the best they could with what they had, but I just saw a lot of arguing. I saw a lot of different things. And so therefore, whenever I got into, you know, uh, arguments with my wife, literally I would think to myself, you know, especially when we were dating, that, that it's over, you know what I'm saying? Like it's over, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and, and I would always have that mentality, but, but thus when I had this group, this group of individuals that we would come and we'd go, you know, to these, uh, to this marriage group once a month and it, 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 it would never fail every time we went right before there would always be some conflict and everything, uh, that would happen, you know, us going in. And I'm one of those persons that I do not, um, hold my emotions very well it I, I i i hold who i am on my sleeves a lot of the times and so a lot of people you know yeah i'm not that that's the type of person that i am so basically when we got in there you know we're not smiling at one another things are going on everybody knew something was up and so we got a chance to talk through our issues uh with the different groups that are there and they got a chance what it really helped me with is that they let me know um, from our times there that, that we weren't the only ones or, or you're dealing with that issue. Well, you know, this is how we dealt with it and how we overcame as a couple. Uh, and hey, we're here to support you. We're here for you. 
and or they told me if I was tripping, if I was off, <laughs> you know, as the husband of the you know group or vice versa. The woman was there in order to speak to my wife, and the man was there. The men were there to say, "Nah, you 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 wrong in that, man. You need to apologize. You need to ask for forgiveness." And so it was just an accountability that was amazing. And we didn't necessarily just connect during uh, just that time. We would also connect during the week. We would text back and forth. You know, it was just like a big group. It was a big group of friends that connected together. And ten years later. Even though I haven't talked to a lot of the different couples, that built a bond that is so strong that if I was to come back to that group now, today, 100%, you know, or even if I call them and talk to them, it was almost like we would pick up our conversation like we'd never skipped a beat. And that's just how it is. And so uh, that's the power of being in groups. Um, the, the last example that I have for you is that I'm a certified financial you know, coach, and I got my certification through Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University. No, Dave Ramsey's Financial Coaching Master's Training. And so um, in hearing Dave Ramsey, um, you know, yes, you know, somebody may have a bias about the information that he provides. Yes, he came from the real estate world and all that stuff. But all that aside, the dude's a smart man. He told me a story that how he started out doing one-on-one -on -one meetings with people uh, yeah, and you know he saw how that went people were not implementing the different things that he was saying so you know he did his research he did his studying and he came up with something very very profound you know a statement that he made and and I believe it 100% but before I share that uh, I'll say this is that um, let me see, small groups. Yeah, before I say that, it's just like uh, he was doing this and he realized this, uh, but he wasn't getting the results that he wanted to get. He would share the information that needed to be shared, but couples would not change their situation. That's what I was going to say. Uh, if, you, you know, finance and actually anything, anything, or I'll just say finance, finance is 80% behavior and 20% knowledge. You know what I'm saying? And so the, that goes across the board with anything, not just finance. It's whatever you want to apply it to. You know, a lot of times it's 80% behavior, the behaviors that we have in place, and then 20% knowledge. You know what I'm saying? And so therefore, he did this study and he found out that small groups have the highest behavioral change rate because it provides accountability and support and therefore their birth uh, for him um, what you call financial peace university and now he has small groups uh, that meet together and do bible study but not only that then after you graduate from his financial peace university you could go online to facebook and find a facebook group uh, that's that has done dave ramsey and that still stays together and still challenges one another and encourages one another to press on to do the right things. So, so don't miss the importance of what I'm saying. So in whatever you're doing it, for example, at one point I wanted to be a certified financial planner. So I would, I, if you're going to do that, I would get connected to a certified financial planning association uh, of, of, you know, of, of financial planners and get connected to them in that you'd be able to, you could partner up there. There's so many different benefits that can happen from that. You could partner up, you could, um, uh, not only partner up, you could, you could, if somebody saw that, Hey, my services couldn't connect with you since you are, are already connected in a network, that person could share your information cause they know you and, and all that stuff. And it's, it's, it really provides um, a lot of business and stuff like that. So, so yeah, man, having a small group is important. So if you can find that tribe of entrepreneurs or a company that has a small group that you can stay connected to, man, that's priceless. In whatever industry you're in, man, you're going to be all the more better, uh, you know, and they're going to they're going to inspire your dreams. Well, actually, I don't know if they're, it depends on the group. It depends on a group, you know, if, if it's a group that's about inspiring, then yeah, I mean, they, they will inspire you to keep going and they, they can share with you as business owners uh, that, yeah, I've been through that and this is how you navigate that. And uh, 
So anyway, man, that that's what I want to share. And um, yeah, the importance of small groups, uh, because again, it has the highest behavioral change rate because it provides accountability and support. Yes, you do as an entrepreneur yourself do have the responsibility of your own results and all that stuff at the end of the day. But man, if you have that support group, you're going to have your ups and downs. Uh, like I, I had that today, you know, I had that today. If I'm honest with you, I was going through some stuff today and I was frustrated about it. And I reached out to my business coach and in doing so, the, you know, the person brought me so much wisdom and insight and encouragement to keep going. Frustration is a part of it. I've been there. I've been where you are. This is how you deal with it. So, so anyway, um, it, it could be the, the difference between you pressing forward in whatever you're doing or quitting. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. So, hey, man, find your group uh, the, the, of people that are in your niche um, of what you want to do and connect with them and, and, and go from there. So that would be my uh, encouragement, my plan of action for you. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to get off this mic. But if you have any questions or... Um, Please, you know, put it at the, the bottom. Uh, I'd love to interact with you. Secondly, uh, if you, uh, you know, please share this with one other person. And also, this is R.T. Stroud, the life coach and entrepreneur, signing out. Thank you so much again for tuning into my channel. I'm going to have more content and some things are going to be changing about the content that I'll be bringing. But we'll talk about that later. Uh, I like doing things in a progressive manner because I'm, I'm learning a new business and I'll be uh, bringing that content coming soon. Uh, probably be changing up the channel a little bit, um, you know, going forward. But, but yeah, you'll hear more of that, uh, more about that as we get closer, you know, to that time. So excited for you guys to hear the new material, the new things that I'll be talking about. For but for right now, it'll be still along the same lines of entrepreneurship. Uh, but um, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. So yeah. This is R.T. Stroud, the life coach and entrepreneur, signing out. Thank you so much again for tuning in to my, my, my channel uh, and uh, all that I have to say. And uh, hey, you all be blessed. Take care. Peace.